Andrew Rice out here on the Lesson T at the Western Savannah Harbor Resort. Thanks so much for tuning in today. I do appreciate you listening to what I have to say. Wanted to talk a little bit about trajectory today. So many golfers, and particular as it pertains to wedge play, so many golfers that I share with are under the misguided impression that a pitch shot or a wedge shot, in order for it to be good, needs to be high. The best pitchers in the world, the best wedge players in the world will flight their golf ball down. They'll keep it nice and low. And they're doing that via two avenues. The first one is they don't deliver very much loft. They take whatever club they prefer to use and they de-loft the club a little slightly. What that means is that the hands are slightly ahead coming into impact. And I'm talking on their stock, low flighted spinning wedge shots. And secondly, they're creating a lot of friction between the golf ball and the club face. That's something we're partially in control of. We're not really going to look at that today, but I did want to talk about how we can alter, how we can improve the amount of loft that we're delivering to the back of the golf ball. And I'm going to speak to two genres of golfers. Those of you out there, and I'm certainly part of this camp, that deliver too little loft, you get the hands too far forward, you're hitting very flat shots that typically are not spinning enough. And those of you out there that are getting very scoopy and you're allowing the club to be too lofted and you're projecting the ball too high up in the air for maximum control. And that's really what we're after. How can we flight this golf ball, deliver the appropriate amount of loft so we can start to control the ball, control our wedge shots and perhaps save a few shots around the green. So let's check it out. Two exercises, and you're going to decide. There's nobody better to decide than you. If I could see you, I would tell you which one of these you need to get with, but you know well what you do. So first version is for the low ball hitters. And what I'd like for you to do is hit some wedge shots with the ball in line with the tip of your trail shoe. So you've got the ball in line with your back foot, you're set up to this and you're going, well, I'm a low ball hitter, I'm going to hit this even lower. True, if you did the same thing, but this scenario is here to encourage you to do something different and to deliver more loft. So our plan from this position is to deliver more loft by getting some more club head swing. We actually want to slow the handle down and swing the club at a little bit more, deliver some loft. I'm not advocating scooping the ball, but if you're a low ball hitter, you need a little bit more swing in the club head. So the feel here is as follows. Here's a slow motion version for you. Got that? High ball hitters, I want you to do just the opposite. So what I'm going to ask you to do here, high ball hitters, is you're going to set up fairly narrowish stance, just a pitching wedge. I've got a wedge in my hand here. Just a wedge. The ball is in line with the tip of your lead shoe. And you're going, well, I hit it high already. If I do that, I'm really going to hit it high. That's the point of this exercise. If you hit it too high, I want you to get the ball high and do all you can now to see if we can bring that trajectory and the loft that impact down. So this is what this looks like in slow motion. And hopefully you can see that quite nicely. What I'm going for is to create a scenario where you're actually encouraged to do the opposite of what your tendency is because we're just looking to neutralize it and get that good low flighted spinning trajectory where we can really control the ball. And hey, keep in mind, little secret here, this applies to your long game as well. You can practice and do the same thing. I typically hit the ball too low and I'm sure you've seen in many of my tips, my ball position is way forward. Well, that's because I deliver so little loft, I've got to get it up there. I would do well to practice ball back creating some more club head swing. You decide what you need, give it a go. Thanks so much for tuning in. Hope you have a great day.